Alright, how's it going ladies and gentlemen, it is Ranger Flem and welcome everyone to my Boruto Naruto Next Generations episode 67 and episode 68 review. Yes, I put them in together because of course I'm late on last week's episode. This week's episode just came out so I figured I'd just put them together but I feel like it's just going to be any other review because talking to episode 67, I just finished watching the episode and yep, filler, we're, we're back to filler but it does focus on one character, and that's Chocho for this whole series. I don't know how long it's going to go for. I don't know how this mini arc or this mini series for Chocho is going to be. But, you know, for me, looking at her character, she's my least favorite Boruto in our Next Generations character. So, this is either I'm going to like her from this segment, or it's just going to be the exact same thing. So,. Let's talk more with the episode. So 67, like I said, it just focuses on Chocho's development throughout all of this. I think what was really cool about this episode, and it started right off the bat, is actually Choji, her father, teaching her the butterfly mode technique. And this brought me back to memories of Choji back in Naruto. And I don't remember him using it a lot in Shippuden. It's just been so long. The only memory I have that Choji used this power was when they were going after the Sound Ninja and Sasuke back in like Gen 1 Naruto, speakingly. And him versus that enemy, like I said, I kind of forget. It's been a long time and he uses the pills to upgrade his power. So it reminded me a little bit of backstory when Choji used it, which is pretty cool. You know, a little bit of throwback here or there. Knowing Choji's character, she's not really paying attention a lot. She's really into this drama series, which this is kind of like her character. You know, this is at an age where, you know, they'll even like it. And it's even basically in real life of girls growing up and watching these drama shows and love interests and etc. like that. And you look at that and it's like, oh great, here we go with kind of... I don't really want to say a useless Boruto episode, but you know it's not going to be a really fun of a ride. With it, we actually see a little bit of her power in this episode. She actually does know the butterfly mode technique in this when she actually shows Sada. She doesn't have perfection of it yet. You know, she could actually physically, you can actually physically see the butterfly, you know, form, you know, stick out. But, you know, she doesn't have the full power to release it like Choji was teaching her and all of this. So, it's pretty cool. But going into butterfly mode, she actually makes herself a little bit skinny. Looks a lot more attractive to get boys' attention because that's just her character. You know, and her becoming a strong ninja, but she also wants a husband as well. So, it's like, yeah. Okay, Chocho, we kind of get it at this point. I feel like the only interesting part of this episode, and it's actually at the start as well, was Mitsuki and Orochimaru's training, which it brings back, and Mitsuki is just one of those characters in Boruto that we have no idea like with this character so far you know he's a total mystery like we know here or there like the only big thing that we know is his sage mode power and nothing else that he talks with Orochimaru so we still want answers on that you know it's just him signing a form that they're about to go on this mission like it's different in the hidden leaf now when you look at it that you gotta get your parent like parents signature to go on these missions for safety and etc like that so you can definitely see that you know these generations for going on missions has changed in the ninja world with this mission it's team 7 and team 10 protecting these actors of the drama series that is chocho's favorite you know tv show and knowing from her character she has a crush on the main actor which that's who they're protecting in this episode is the actor and the actress in the show team 10 is looking after the actor while team 7 is looking after the actress and mostly with this and it's like why are they protecting them in the first place it's a funny thing they get a death threat and it's like kind of if you look at it in real life maybe celebrities get that and you look at it and it's like really like they're getting bodyguards for just this like it seems so simple and stupid, but you look at the exact same point that this is the ninja world. That if maybe they do get something like this, maybe a high class shinobi will actually come and try to eliminate them. So you can look at a point like that, or you can look at it that this is completely stupid. And literally, Boruto has changed into a drama series. Oh god, please don't go down that road. Please. No. No. Looking at this episode, you, you can just totally tell with Chocho's character. And this is totally like relatable to real life that 
She stole an escape form that she could use during her butterfly mode effect that if she shows the actor who she really looks like, she, like the actor will have no interest in her. And it's like looking to real life for example that people are scared to show themselves who they actually are. It's a basic kind of human thing and even to animate for that concept that you know, if you show someone who they really like, like for example, if I go up to someone and say that I like anime, or if someone's really chubby and wants to attract someone but doesn't have the courage to do it, that's kind of like Chocho in this episode that if she goes to a real life form, the actor that she is protecting won't accept her. So that's kind of the challenge that she has to go through right now, and I'm pretty sure that that's what the segment is throughout this whole, you know, kind of series. I don't know how long it's going to be because in episode 68, it's going to be the exact same thing. I don't know if that's going to be the finale or not of this kind of little series that they're doing but yeah that's Chocho's challenge and that she's gonna overcome is that she has to accept herself who she actually is to other people to like her so yeah that's basically what this episode was it wasn't really fun at all I was kind of disappointed really it's if, if you like Chocho and her character and want development from her then this is your episode but for me, it's it's not just action for Boruto that I want, it's just more development and more secrets. You know, that's Naruto, that's Boruto, that's the stuff I want. And Chocho is a character for me, like, she probably will get better throughout the Ninja series and throughout Boruto, but just throughout this segment, I guess I just give her credit that she's going to accept herself for who she is and hopefully people will like her in the future. So, yeah, with this episode for episode 6 or 7, guys, I'm just going to give it a 2.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm only giving it that long is just for, you know, Chocho's, I guess, a little bit of development and that little segment between Mitsuki and Orochimaru. But enough talking about 67, let's jump into episode 68. Now we hop on to episode 68 of Boruto Naruto Next Generations, and it literally just up from what happened last episode with Chocho being part of the role now, which, you know, it kind of cuts off. It's like a here, there kind of thing. It's mostly, like I said, just focused more on Chocho's character in this episode, sadly. Um, and just one thing I want to point out in this episode right here is the actor's name. I, I forget his name. Like, I don't even want to even focus on his name whatsoever. I think Ashida is the actress's name, if I do believe so. Which, their characters, by the way, when we saw, like, Ashida's character, the actress's name in the first episode, like, at first, she kind of really seemed like a terrible person. But in reality, she's probably the nice person. Like, the nice actor or person, like, in the room because she wants to follow her dreams. She believes in the script and wants a full career out of it. Well, the actress name, by the way, yeah, he's a complete dick this episode. It's, uh, you, you do feel bad for Chocho, but more with this episode, I would have to just say that it had better comedy than the last one. Like, I do like it quite a bit when, you know, Chocho is, you know, acting and ready to go for this kiss scene, and uh, Inojin completely says that this isn't, like, kind of a love interest whatsoever, and it completely cuts Chocho out, which I thought was pretty funny, you know, you gotta love that humor here or there. Also, the other part when they're all fighting, because Chocho in this, you know, she's way too deep in with this mission. You know, their mission simply is to guard these two from a threat that they got from a fan or just from a person. And Chocho, it just focused on, you know, this guy. You know, for her to get married, but it's not really married, it's just part of the script. And, you know, she finally finds someone that's actually decent and actually likes her for who she is. But that's a complete turnaround in this episode that the actor in this, you know, he says to, you know, the girl, and I feel like this is real life, for example. I just want to say, when somebody says that they like somebody, what they are in the inside and not how they look outside. But when he says that to Chocho, because he's confused of where Chocho is. I don't understand how they don't recognize, you know, her face. Like, yeah, she is a little bit bigger, but at the exact same time, it's like, she's right in front of you. Do you seriously not notice? And, you know, she's, he even says it to Chocho in this episode, that he's not into chubby girls, that, you know, she has no point in hell to ever get married with somebody, which that is just a low blow right there. And even at the point when Sada gets mad at him, like I would just be like, you know what, man? I don't even care. If this is a mission, I'm backing up my friend. I'm punching that guy in the face, which Chocho, by the way, does stand up to this. Like even though she literally just got her heart broken in this episode, 
you know, she is, you know, the woman or the man, whatever you want to say throughout the scenario, and is being, you know, the responsible person, you know, saying that this is the person that we have to protect. After all this is gone, F this guy, and we could be down our way. So I'll give her credit with that. Good job, Chocho. Your character is bringing me kind of a bit liking you, you know, you're still kind of my least favorite character in this series, but just from that standing up for yourself and, you know, being who you are, I respect it. And now I guess the mystery found in this little mini arc of Chocho's Paradise is the smoke guy, which is the one that caused the damage last episode, and now he appears in this episode looking for a new move so that he can eliminate both of these actors. There's also somebody on the inside that's actually given this guy this information that Colonel Hummer actually said in this episode, which I'm pretty sure the guy in the inside might be the actor. That's the only question that I could say. Probably nobody else. I doubt that it's the actress. I 100% go with the actor. If it's the actress, I'll actually be surprised about this, but I think it's quite obvious. But with this episode, just like episode 67, guys, it really had no interest with me whatsoever. I personally just like Chocho's determination and stand up in this episode, and also a little bit of the comedy when they were fighting. Um, you know, it was pretty funny. You know, Borto does have those moments that make me chuckle or just burst out laughing. So I would just probably give it a 3 out of 10, it just 0.5 over last episode. And it's continuing this segment going into next week, which. I'm not happy about I want to stand up for the show. My favorite series of all time was the Naruto series and Boruto. I like it, but now it's just going that downhill again. You had something so great, and now you're just slowing it down a little bit, which I do understand with this arc, you know, there's a lot of cast in Boruto, and sometimes in an arc, you definitely have to focus on one person to get their character development up for the future of a series, which they are doing to Chocho. So that's completely understandable, I get that, but it's just like, it's just a meh. I, I'm just not feeling it. Like, will I watch next week's episode and continue on? Yes, because, you know, I still believe in this series and all that, but, I'm probably just going to be left with disappointment yet again and probably you guys as well. But definitely let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys all think of these episodes so far and probably the next one. Like this video if you guys haven't. Subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. But either way guys, we'll see you next week for another Boruto Naruto Next Generations review. Much love and as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.